CFA level 1 2024, lots of changes, not so much in terms of content, but the arrangement, the shuffling, etc. There is going to be a bit of a challenge, but let's uh, discuss the whole thing so that there is absolutely no problem and you're able to study very smoothly, right? So when you're looking at the 2024 curriculum, first of all, please do not get scared looking at the number of chapters that have increased for, from uh, 50 something to 93. It's not that way. There are multiple chapters which have been broken down into smaller chapters. So don't think of it that way. Second, do not also get happy looking at the number of deleted LOSs. So it is not that 52% of the syllabus has gone down. There's a lot of reshuffling that has happened. There is a lot of uh, changes, minor changes also that has happened. And along with that, there's some material that has been shifted to the prerequisite. So basically, let me summarize the whole thing for you. So there are a few chapters that have been deleted. There are a few chapters that have been added. We will discuss those. Most of the chapters, what has happened is they've split one chapter into four smaller chapters. Now, when I'm doing that and when I'm defining, you know, how the syllabus is, we have chapters, we have subjects, suppose we have quants. Now, quants has got, let's say, a chapter called probability. Now, the probability chapter has been uh, deleted or changed and modified into two, three chapters. So we'll have to understand the modifications and all pretty well in order to move forward with our curriculum and with our studies. So the chapters which were earlier there, they, say for example, there was one chapter which has now been split into three chapters. For example, economics, currency. So one chapter gets split into two parts. So therefore, the number of chapters have gone up. Also, what has happened is some LOSs, some chapters have been removed from the curriculum, but you need to know the concepts of those. For example, we've got something in microeconomics, we've got a few things in accounting, a few things in quants and all. So they have deleted those portions from the curriculum, but you need to understand those concepts in order to do those, uh, for, uh, do the other chapters in the exam. For example, if I remove, let's say, the basics of accounting, let's say, from the syllabus, but you have assets and liabilities chapter in the syllabus. So if you do not understand the basics of accounting, how can you do the asset liability chapter? Yes, earlier, even on those basics of accounting or whatever, I'm just taking an example, on those chapters, you could have had questions. But now questions will not be asked on those chapters because they're not a part of the curriculum. But to understand the further chapters in the curriculum, you have to know those concepts. So actually, we will not be able to say that 50% plus deletion is what we have seen in the syllabus. That is not the reality. Yes, the syllabus has been streamlined. The syllabus has been trimmed quite a bit. The basics which a lot of students had been covering in bachelor's uh, courses and all, that has been removed. You need to know those basics. If you don't know those basics, obviously you'll have to study those as well. And obviously we are going to take care of all the basics. The lectures for all the basics, prerequisites, etc. will be done. It's just that you don't need to practice so much on it. You need to be very, very conceptually thorough because you will not be tested on the exam on those topics which have been removed. But the basics of those will be required in order to understand the further chapters that we still have in the curriculum. And as I told you, one chapter divided into multiple smaller chapters. So the flow of the chapter, the shuffling, the order in which it is done has changed. And in a couple of places, they've, they've removed, let's say, you know, a, a, let's say a formula of quants. They've removed. And the application of the formula from a finance perspective has been included. So the curriculum is actually better in terms of, you know, aligning it with finance. Uh, that aspect. So that aspect is good. So don't think that deletion has, uh, uh, you know, your syllabus has become halved. Uh, it has not become halved. Obviously, it has not even increased just because you have more number of chapters here. That is also not the case. I would still say the syllabus has become relatively easier because there is a portion of chapters which you have to study, know the concepts for your uh, further chapters, but you don't have to uh, practice that as much because you will not be tested in the exam for that. Right. So therefore, I would say that the syllabus has, uh, you know, become a little easier, but it's good because your focus is on the very finance centric uh, chapters and not on the basics. So your focus is going to be your number of questions is going to be the same. So except for getting questions on those basic chapters, now we'll have the questions coming in from core chapters, which is what your curriculum is supposed to be about. So that way, I don't see it's been very simplified as a uh, level, but I, I don't find difficulty level uh, much changed as such. It's just a little less practice you'll do over there and uh, and questions will be more from the core areas. So I think it's 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 good and it's more aligned in terms of finance. So they're trying to, from what I understand, from what I see with the CFA Institute and the level one, two and three, the kind of changes they're coming up with the curriculum, they're trying to align it more with, with uh, the practical uh, 
uh, finance space and how things are in the market. Uh, so anyways, let's let's move forward. So first of all, we have three chapters added over here. So one is an introduction to financial statement modeling. One is company analysis forecasting. This is very interesting. So when you're looking at financial statement modeling, we have a modeling chapter in level two as well. Also, since you have the practical skills module, so financial statement modeling introduction works really well with that. And we'll discuss the practical skill module separately. Uh, right now, I want to focus on the changes in the curriculum because practical skill module is anyways not testable in the exam. It has nothing to do with your exam. Uh, we'll discuss that separately. So company analysis forecasting is very interesting. So they are trying to get into the business, business model, business strategy. So that that business uh, sense of it is coming in in a few chapters, you know, the forecasting of the past return, future return. We'll see those chapters and all. So it's quite good that way. So I'm liking the change over here and financial statement modeling as well. And then you have introduction to digital assets. So we've just put a added a part in your alternate investments uh, uh, subjects wherein we're talking about commodities, real estate, etc investment formats we also want to talk about digital asset a very small portion added as such anyways you can see over here there are only three LOSs over here so not a problem as such so these are the three additions before I come to the changes because the entire curriculum looks like it has changed but it has not changed so much actually there's a lot of rewording that has been done there's a lot of shuffling that has been done there's a lot of uh, maybe two uh, uh, LOSs or two subheadings have been combined into one smaller subheading. So that kind of change is done. But the core concept wise, you will not see that, uh, you know, more than 20% of the curriculum has changed. Not even 15% of the curriculum has changed as such. The core concepts, the basics are there. It's just a reshuffling and all that has happened. Anyways, so when I'm looking at the chapters that have been deleted, so technical analysis has, got, has been deleted. So when I'm looking at technical analysis chapter that is deleted. So technical analysis, you will learn when you talk about, you know, FRN syllabus lecture, we've discussed uh, fundamental analysis and technical analysis. So technical analysis is not there, those charts, prices, patterns. Anyways, the CFA curriculum is very much uh, in sync with fundamentals and not technical. Barely we had a couple of chapters around technical that has been removed. There was a very lengthy chapter in economics around aggregate output prices and economic growth. It was a little confusing from what I saw with the with the students, but the moment they would practice with me, there would not be a problem as such. But still, it was a relatively lengthy chapter, which I'm I'm sure students are going to be happy about it. Although I enjoyed teaching this chapter. Application of financial statement analysis was a very, very simple, small, easy chapter. So if you see that has been deleted, it was quite a small chapter. As I told you, the economics aggregate output was a lengthy chapter that has been deleted. And measures of leverage was a very simple chapter, just a few formulas in corporate finance that has been deleted. So these are the ch chapters that we are not going to be doing anymore, not going to be studying anymore. It is possible that some part of this chapter might be in the prerequisite part. We will see that separately. But uh, right now, let's let's move to the changes bit. So you would see that the entire syllabus has changed. I'm just magnifying it for you to be able to view it uh, better. So when I'm looking at rates of returns and time value of money in finance, there is not much of change that has happened actually. So in rates of return, we have something called NP, uh, uh, TWROR, MWROR. You may not be comfortable with the terms right now, but I had already covered that in the portfolio chapter. So as I told you that there is a lot of reshuffling that has happened some text or some concepts they are now giving so earlier if i'll tell you say for example rate of interest now i'll tell you calculate rate of interest from equity perspective and fixed income perspective so the concepts are there it's just that it's more aligned with finance as i told you so once the books are out and uh, uh, we'll be able to see and we'll be able to understand a little better but that is how the changes have been done now statistical measures are still there there's not much of change over here when we're looking at the statistical measure bit but when I'm looking at, let's say the probability part over here, there's going to be a challenge. Actually, it is not 29 LOSs that have been deleted. Actually, what has happened is there were three chapters earlier. We had a probability, we had a, a common probability distributions, we had sampling estimation. Now they've consolidated. As I told you that a bit of quants, bit of economics, a little bit of uh, uh, this thing, uh, uh, financial reporting analysis, they've shifted it to prerequisite material. So that is why you're seeing these many deletions from three total chapters and some portion added over here. They've changed the chapter names also and they've added some part in portfolio mathematics. So I remember uh, there was there, there's a part of probability, there are a few formulas in probability that was a part of uh, quants, but it is actually to be done with portfolio. And now they've created a portfolio mathematics chapter and segregated that part. So I would see that the syllabus, the curriculum is getting more aligned in terms of finance and very core markets markets not stock markets as in economy markets finance 
uh, everything. So, so that way it's good. But the challenge is going to be that there is going to be a little bit of uh, confusion. I'll tell about uh, tell you about how to address the change in terms of your preparation. Those who've already been studying with 2022 or 23 books, how do you address those changes? We'll discuss at the end. Now, simulation method was also earlier there. We had Monte Carlo simulation and all, but they've defined a proper chapter, full-fledged chapter, small chapter although over here. So similarly, when we're looking at estimation and inference, there is, there is a major change over here, uh, but there will be some parts of hypothesis sampling estimation going in over here. We'll discuss the chapter also in detail. Hypothesis testing is there, but major deletion has happened over here from this chapter. Linear regression is same as before, but again, there is a little bit of uh, uh, one uh, deletion and two changes over here. Big data, basically, we've got a uh, uh, fintech chapter that has been changed and modified into your big data techniques. So a lot of changes over here. Some uh, overlap or some kind of inspiration I would see from level two, because level two also we had a big data chapter. So you can call it change or you can call it new chapter. You can call simulation method new or you can call it changes. I would call it changes because there's some overlap over here. Firm and market structures, monopoly, oligopoly, etc. is already there in economics. There's been some changes over there. It's more about reshuffling. I don't see the chapter to have actually changed so much. There's more of reshuffling and all that has gone about. Uh, business cycle, again, there's a very minor change over here. Fiscal policy, monetary policy was a single chapter earlier that has been split into two. So fiscal being, you know, taxes, revenue, the government side, and monetary is your RBI, central bank side. Geopolitics, little bit of changes, although it was a newly introduced chapter, but still. And as I told you, we had international trade, some changes over here, and the uh, currency and exchange rate chapter has been split into two now. So that is one change we are looking at. Then when you're looking at, uh, sorry, uh, the next set of chapters around when you're looking at the corporate finance part, so organiza uh, organizational forms, what is a partnership, proprietorship, etc. Some changes over here. Once the curriculum is out again, the changes are very minor. I don't see the changes to be very, very major. It's more, again, as I told you, reshuffling, redoing the chapter in a way. Investors, who are the investors, etc., the uh, stakeholders in a company, working capital liquidity we had, but some trimming of this chapter is also done. Capital allocation was there, structure was there. Over here, I'm very interested in this business model chapter, which was introduced. It was quite good, but they have kind of uh, uh, trimmed this chapter. They've deleted just small part of it. When we're looking at FRA now, so when I'm looking at the FRA subject, so uh, if you see, we'll have, we still have your inventory. Uh, we have your income statement, balance sheet, cash flow. Cash flow split into cash flow statement one and two, actually. We have your inventory, long-term asset, liability, taxes, all the chapters. We have the analysis of financial reporting quality also over here. It's just that in the beginning, some chapter has been removed and uh, some portion has been pushed into your prerequisite material. Also, when you're looking at this financial analysis technique, I do not like this change personally. That's my opinion. So the ratios and all that we study has been pushed over here. Earlier, the ratios chapter was actually after cash flow chapter. But when I'm going to teach you and uh, when we are going to study, you'll have to do the ratios before because the ratios will be included in inventory asset liability. We'll be analyzing how the current asset ratio is changing or the debt equity is changing for this asset or for goodwill or for whatever. So obviously you have to study the ratios before being able to analyze the ratios, right? So there will be some challenge in terms of, I wouldn't say challenge, but uh, uh, there could be chapters wherein I'll teach you three chapters together. Like when I'm teaching you alternate investment, maybe I'll teach you all the eight chapters of alternate investment together. You will still be able to demarcate, okay, there's a real estate part, there's a commodity part, but there could be some overlap. So that, that we'll have to work around. I'm finding the equity part, this company analysis, past, present, future, forecasting, industry competitive analysis. This is very, very interesting. The way they are looking at, you know, understanding the business, the strategy part. So there's been some content they've taken from the previous uh, portion and some content that has been deleted. So a lot of redo, as I told you, a lot of refurbishing has happened. It's not that the content is absolutely new and the topics and everything has changed totally. And it is not even that uh, uh, the topic is absolutely old. A lot of, lot of mix match and everything has been done. Equity valuation is very, very much the same. Barely one LO is deleted. Uh, when we're looking at the fixed income subject again, fixed income cash flows. So a couple of chapters that are missed over here basically I'm not going serial order wise because I'm talking about the changes right now. So 51 would be the same. 53 would be the same. Those chapters are exactly the same. I'll go through the topic list also. Don't worry. Now fixed income again, we have some deletion and some changes in the theory chapters of fixed income. A lot of splitting of fixed income has happened. So please do not get scared. For example, asset backed securities three. Um, 
valuation has been split into quite a few then your fixed income risk chapter has been split into this many credit risk and some theory chapters over here there's a lot of splitting of the chapters has happened so there were some theory chapters that are still there with some changes some uh, new addition barely new addition actually uh, the fixed income valuation chapter has been split into five or six so there was one very lengthy chapter now you have split that into five six chapters the content is more or less the same when you're looking at the fixed income risk chapter duration convexity etc they've broken it down into convexity and duration separately when we're looking at the credit risk so credit risks is separate of government credit risk is separate corporate bond credit risk is separate when we're looking at the mortgage backed security asset backed securities chapter we've split it into three so you've got securitization abs mbs three chapters uh, anyways, we had looked at uh, the derivative sub, uh, uh, chapter was already split into six, seven chapters last year itself. So there is not much of a change over here, just one LOS and alternate investment. There are again some changes over here and it has been broken down. So natural resources is one chapter. So earlier alternate investment was one big chapter where you had private equity, hedge fund, real estate, commodity, uh, infrastructure, uh, real assets like farmland, timberland. Now they have been split over here. So you have one for hedge fund, one for natural resource, one for real estate. But these are small chapters. So please don't get worried in terms that, you know, you'll have to study like eight new chapters or eight big chapters. In fact, the content has gone down. So don't worry about it. They've split the syllabus the cha into different chapters, learning modules, as we are calling it right now. That is what has happened. So there's a lot of uh, shuffling and all. So once you have the summary, this is the summary of the changes. Once you see the summary, we've put all the readings over here. So basically what we've done is when I'm looking at the subject quants, these are the new chapter numbers that I have. Now this chapter has got this changes and this it corresponds to chapter number one from 2023. This statistics chapter corresponds to chapter number two from 2023. Uh, port probability corresponds to chapter number three from 2023. So this has only one change, but I could not map it exactly over here because it's an absolutely new chapter introduced, but there is some concept of an old chapter over here. As I told you, a lot of reorganizing the material has gone about it. So uh, it's, it's highlighted the changes in this color you can see over here. So changes in yellow, new in uh, orange and deleted in blue. So that is how these these have been highlighted and the changes details are all provided over here. So this is a chapter wise detail. So there are a lot of chapters which have no changes absolutely. Portfolio risk return 1, 2, etc. So that is not a problem. In fact, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you a list of chapters and list of topics uh, that you can do absolutely without any problem, without any issues right now, right uh, away. And those chapters that you should be ignoring. So I'll put together a list and I'll provide it to you. Basically, these deleted chapters you need to ignore. The chapters which are the same, which is marked in white, you can easily do it for everybody else. And even where there are minor changes like this, don't bother. You can easily complete these because the concept, the core concepts are the same. Over here, when you're looking at fixed income, the core concept is same. You cannot change duration, convexity, valuation of a bond, spot rate, power rate, etc. So that will not be a so, uh, so much of a challenge, but I'll give you a uh, send that as well. And then what we have done is LOS wise for every chapter, if you want to see that this LOS is corresponding to which particular LOS from last year, this LOS is new basically. Uh, so that's why it's all, uh, highlighted this way. This LOS has got changes. So this year's 1D is corresponding to last year's 1M. So this is how we map the entire LOS so that, uh, you know, for every chapter you're able to map and you can know that, you know, this LOS or this subheading I can leave. So this is broadly the changes. You will be able to download this file. So I'll provide the link over uh, uh, below for this. Uh, second is difficulty level. I've already told you volume wise, the syllabus has gone down. The questions for in the exam are going to be more focused on the core areas because there is some content which has moved to prerequisite. Prerequisite will not be tested in the exam, but the concepts have to be understood to attend the exam. Prerequisite also, the lectures will be there, it will be taken care of. Those students who are going to be uh, looking at <clears throat> buying new books now, my suggestion would be wait for the 2024 books to be out and then purchase it. You can start studying right now because there are topics like portfolio, risk return part one and two, fixed income valuation and risk, the entire derivatives, the entire alternate investments, the entire ethics, almost the entire quants. So you are not, I'm not referring to any book also. So class notes are sufficient. We're not referring to any books as well. Maximum it'll happen that out of, let's say a 50 hour of lecture. I'm just giving an example. Uh, one, one and a half hours may not be relevant, but these topics you can absolutely easily complete uh, equity valuation. So you can complete these topics absolutely easily. 
and without referring to any books a book once the books are released for 2024 you can purchase them uh, we'll also inform you once the books are out and everything in fact once the new books are out we also do a mapping of you know a page by page we go through uh, both the versions and we provide a mapping so that will not be a problem then we can decide for those who already have 2023 books please continue studying whatever chapters are same i just read out i'll also give you a list of chapters that you can do easily at home without having any trouble so you complete those the concepts you use your 2023 books once the 24 books are out then i'll be able to tell you that you know uh, ignore these chapters uh, uh, from here take a printout of these chapters or buy these chapters or whatever so we'll brief you once once the books are out and we'll tell you about that Prerequisite material, I doubt if you need any study material as such. Institute is anyways providing you content and the lectures will be sufficient. So prerequisite, I don't think you'll have to do anything beyond the lectures as such. If there is needed, once the books are out and once we have also, you know, uh, gone into the depth of curriculum and everything, I'll update you about that. That will not be a problem. With respect to the new chapters, obviously the moments, uh, the moment the books are out, the new chapters will be done in live class. Anybody and everybody who's in Kolkata is more than welcome to attend. And once it has been done in Kolkata in the live class, we will upload it on Google Drive. All those things in the changes lecture, I've already told you how we cover. It's just that uh, you'll have to be on your toes and you'll have to follow the instructions. So I'll give you a list of chapters or list of lectures that you can do right now. You complete those. And then again, uh, uh, by July and August or so, the moment books are out and the moment uh, we've seen everything and all, and then you can go to uh, the remaining portion also so we'll keep on guiding you as to uh, as to how to move forward about it and uh, yeah i think that's that's about it so don't worry don't get confused don't worry follow instructions and uh, follow that you know as i told you that complete this set of ch chapters right now focus on this complete this then think about the next step so that is how you'll have to go there will be a little bit of confusion here and there and for that uh, don't worry this file and all will be taken care of and uh, it'll not be a problem it's just a matter of couple of months till the new 2024 books are out and we can actually see what exactly the changes are and all but uh, till then the concept lectures as i told you the entire quants entire derivatives fixed income risk and valuation uh, portfolio risk return part one and two uh, alternate investments ethics you can complete these easily you don't need any book you don't need any reference you don't need anything at all you just complete these uh, properly first and then we'll move to the next bit and by by the time everything will be ready by the time you complete these all right so don't worry don't uh, uh, get uh, irritated the changes are good uh, you don't have to study technical analysis you don't have to study that aggregate output chapter so be happy about it and uh, study